Hello. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the KGE Crypto Hub. Today, we will be reviewing Archangel token. Before we begin this review, please press the subscribe button, like the video, and turn the notification bell on. So, whenever I drop crypto token reviews like this, you do not miss out. With that said, let's get on with the review. Like JC token, Archangel token is one of the least known tokens that gem hunters are tipping to explode in 2022. Just so you know, I got to know about this token through a Reddit conversation I followed. I have decided to review the token, to find out whether the Archangel token is legitimate as they say. Or whether it's another dressed up scam like the Squid Game. If you are new to my videos, I review coins and tokens, with a tone every day, people understand. The intention of these reviews is not to promote or disparage Archangel token. The aim of the review is to help investors, potential investors and those who are curious about projects like this to differentiate between the safe and the unsafe project. Many people have fallen victim of scams. I try to help people prevent that with my reviews. I'll like to start by telling you that I'm not a banker or financial expert. I will not be held responsible for your financial decisions. That said, let's define what Archangel token is. According to CoinMarketCap.com, the Archangel token, ARCA, is a community-driven cryptocurrency project that develops innovative solutions designed to accelerate the global adoption of cryptocurrencies and digital assets. From this short description of the token, it is clear that Archangel's strategy is to raise a community of believers, even though it seemingly has a strong use case. Moving on, the website describes the project as simply a token engineered to drive crypto mass adoption. In the developer's own words, the Archangel project focuses on providing crypto and digital asset users, investors, and enthusiasts with an ecosystem of projects that improves their use of crypto. In essence, this token's objective is to build easy-to-use applications and tools that help people understand and use cryptocurrencies. Some of the projects being built in its ecosystem are as follows. Guardian, this platform will focus on crypto solutions and tools across all sectors. It is billed to be released in the first quarter of 2022. Scratch, this platform will be a real-time NFT market evaluator, research, and DeFi platform. This app is also scheduled to launch in the first quarter of 2022. Brainstem. This platform will be a video library focused 100% on crypto and digital assets. It is planned to be launched in the first quarter of 2022. SpyDR. This is a platform that protects users and projects. The platform is for security solutions, services, and utility. It is billed to be launched in the second quarter of 2022. Genalock. This is a personal DeFi asset locking and release component. This project is scheduled to launch on the 2nd of 2022. Herald. This is the last component in the ecosystem. It is a project-level communication platform that reaches 100% of the community. It is also billed to be released in the second quarter of 2022. To know more about these platforms in the Archangel token ecosystem, download and read their white paper. Archangel token has a total supply of 100 quadrillions, Arcas. 45% of the total supply has been burned. The buy and sell tax is 6%. For those who do not know what that is. This means that whenever an investor decides to buy Archangel token, a 6% tax is deducted from his initial investment. This buy tax is cheap and not exploitative like the buy and sell tax of many projects out there. Here's how the 6% tax is used. 2% goes to the burn address. This makes the token deflationary. For those who do not know deflationary tokens are tokens that are designed to become more valuable as time pass. 2% reflections tax goes directly to each holder proportionately from each transaction. Reflection token rewards loyal holders of the token by giving a certain part of the tax to the holders. 2% goes towards the development of utilities and the project. 2% to marketing to grow the brand. 1% to charity to give back to their communities. 
The team that oversees the day-to-day -day running of Archangel Token is semi-doxed, in my opinion. Because, they did not provide links to their verified social media handles or give their real names. The only link they made available is their telegram. Which is not enough, in my opinion. The team claims to have KYC'd and audited the contract with solid proof. There was no link that verifies this claim. Through Token Sniffer, we find out that Arca's contract is very unique. That is, the developers formulated the contract themselves. This is a positive. We also find out that there are no whales in the Archangel token ecosystem. This is another positive. The only drawback is the fact that the contract has a pause function. This enables the developers of the token to pause transactions in the Archangel ecosystem. Aside from that, everything is great with the token. I believe the token is legit. Although, its marketing has to improve for it to fulfill its potential. If you got value from this website do me a favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I just started the channel. And your support is needed. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You can also join our Telegram group, it's a new group, we just started. By subscribing to the channel and group, you'd never miss out on the early information you need to succeed in the crypto.